The last time we featured this band on the channel, they brought a really refreshing twist on progressive metal. Uh, we featured them over on the Twitch channel, and I ended up clipping it and bringing it over here because I enjoyed the music so much. So, needless to say, I'm really looking forward to this. Shout out to the bassist of this band for providing me with a link, and uh, let's check out to see what Connections has to bring. Cleans in that other song I heard? I don't think so. Alright. Let's go. It's a great mixing. The voice just cuts right through. Heavily layered screams. I like when it kind of a uh, it makes an interesting progression there, as she drops out in the middle of a, a line into. A, I don't know if it's a different like key or octave, but it sounds nice. Hits me with a loop. slow chords. Build up the lead. I thought it was about to go off right there, but this is awesome. Back to the soaring chorus. Gonna pull into that shot like she was ready to throw down, alright? I don't know. Drops out to that groove. We're getting kind of spicy with the roost. Let's go. Oh, they keep it going, too. I feared it was almost over. It's excellent. I like... They're keeping it interesting, you know? I get a little bit afraid sometimes with, uh, you know, modern metal. It tends to get a, a little on the formulaic side. So, I can already hear the keyboards firing up, so let me explain that last statement really quick. Um... As far as like modern metal goes, I, th I think formulaic is a little bit unfair. I mean, let me rephrase what I said a little bit. I think a lot of experiments and bold steps have already been taken in the last five years to really reinvent the genre in a sort of way, as far as like metalcore and progressive metal goes, uh, where bands are kind of using the same stuff that like was surprising about five years ago, but they're starting to kind of write it out and make it the new norm, so to speak. Um, 
not every band for sure not even close to every band but a lot of bands in the space are doing that uh and so it's always refreshing when i get a band like this where the songwriting the the fundamental like progressions and how things are structured the decisions they make with the riffs and where they place them is super interesting and super different um and in this case it isn't like a total like break of the wheel which i think is good actually i think it's great that they have a pretty solid foundational sound that's accessible it's it, it's catchy it, it hits hard when it needs to um but they have little twists and tweaks here or there like placing a riff a little bit off time or deciding to pull into a more clean section kind of halfway through that isn't revisited repeatedly or um just having these like really straightforward catchy choruses flanked by kind of mathy technical segments um that don't get too watered down in the noodling which i think i appreciated that on the last song as well uh i want to say even more so here uh with the addition of the screaming which again layered very nicely there's a lot of like um textures being played with with the vocals which is cool um it does come at a sacrifice of hearing like the raw potential of the screaming because you're really just hearing a lot of the production over the screaming um but for certain folks that might not be a big deal it might be a big deal for certain folks uh for me it's not so much of a big deal if it's done well and i think it is here it fills the sound really nice uh overall production i have to actually commend too for a small um for a smaller band to be putting together such a clean pro production uh in I have to say, like, obviously YouTube is going to compress it a little bit. So the fact that, like, everything has its own place and really stands out in the mix on a YouTube video. Granted, YouTube is not as compressed as it used to be before, but still is fairly compressed and can still make a decent mix sound a little bit less decent. Uh, so to get that um, is a nice touch. I think I got distracted by one of my lights going out there. Uh, so I'm going to hurry this up. So yeah, to just wrap it up, I, I'm impressed by how this band walks the tightrope between technical, impressive, progressive metal and something that is a little bit more accessible, catchy. Um, and now with this new introduction of like scream vocals and heavier sections, packs a bit of a wallop. I really enjoy that. Um, of course, I'm going to feel a little bit silly if I go back to the other song and there was screaming all over it, but I don't think there was. I don't think there was any unclean vocals. So I liked it. Very solid production. Impressive overall. The video was very nice too. Um, it was a bit of a low-key video, of course, so, like, and I'm not a huge music video critic in general. I just go, it is pretty or it was stupid. There's there's usually an in, no in-between for me. Um, this one was pretty. I liked it. Cool. Well shot. Um, good coloring. Uh, the performances were really nice. I liked the little outfit switch halfway through. That was neat. Um, yeah. Overall, thank you so much again uh, to the bases for sharing this with me. Uh, outside of that, Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.